Hello everyone, it's Golden Ninja 50 What is up guys? So today, I'm going to be showing you the best OBS studio settings for streaming and recording. So, um, yeah guys, this is going to be a pretty easy tutorial that I'm going to show you. Make sure you guys like and subscribe and we'll get straight into this. So first thing you're going to want to do is go to your browser and type in OBS studio. And then once you type that in, you should find this link right here. It should be uh, the first one. Click that. And then you're gonna want to install uh, the you're gonna you're gonna want to install OBS Studios on which type of computer you have. I have a Windows, so I'm going to install it on Windows, obviously. And if you say if you have um, whatever this is Mac OS, then you're gonna install it on here. And then once you install it, you're you're gonna want to open it up. And then all right, guys. So once you load up OBS, you should find this. Now these scenes won't be here. Neither were will bully sources and um neither probably will the screen you'll just will probably see a black screen i might get to this in another tutorial on like how to use screens how to use face cams and set up a bunch of stuff like that if you guys want me to let me know in the comment section down below but right now in this video i'm going to show you the best settings for like streaming and recording so yeah guys let's get straight into this so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to right here bottom right corner and you're going to hit settings and this should pop up and we're gonna talk about some things right now so you can copy what you want under general i might theme under dark i'll just scroll down and you guys can, can pause i mean i didn't really change too much of this because it doesn't really matter but if you just guys want to copy this i'm just going to scroll down slowly you can copy this whatever you want and then but the main things we are going to want to do is first go to stream and once we're under here you can see here is our stream key this is basically what allows us to stream and um, to get the stream key, you're going to want to go to YouTube, go to customize channel, and I believe the only way, you, well, you're going to have to be on computer to do this, then go to video manager, and make sure you follow the exact steps that I'm doing, and once we go to video manager, as soon as this loads, we want to go to live streaming, and um, as soon as this loads, sorry if it's taking a bit long, and we're going to want to go to stream options, scroll all the way down, and then we'll find the stream key. Do not, well, if you want to copy it, you have to hit reveal. But do not reveal to anyone because then people can stream. So once you hit reveal, you want to copy it. And then you want to open up settings. And then you want to open settings back up. You're going to want to open up back on settings. Go to stream. And then copy in your stream key. And then paste it in. And then you're going to hit apply and then OK. Or just apply. And now we're going to go do the output. And we're going to talk about a few things here. So first off, we have the encoder. And basically what this is, this is like for your graphics card, I have an NVIDIA uh, 1080 GTX, I believe. And if you have anywhere around that, like a 1070, 1060, 2080, um, you're going to want to have it on this. But if you have something lower lower, or you don't have an NVIDIA, you're going to want to put it on X264. Uh, um, but, what, but since I have um, a, a 1080 and it's in NVIDIA, then you're going to want to put it on this uh, since I have that. And now we're going to talk about the bitrate here. So, uh, the bitrate basically is, has to do with your internet. And I'll show you what that is in a second. So, I'm just going to close out of settings here and show you what you want to do. So, you want to go type into your browser, um, speedtest.net. Um, click on, I believe it's like the first or second link. You should find this, and then you want to hit go. I'm going to blur out or uh, block out my data so you guys don't know where I live. And we're going to test our... our um, internet speeds now download doesn't really matter of course you're gonna want to ha have like a decent download but the thing that matters mainly is upload so I have like a 345 download and then upload is the thing that matters so, okay I don't know what that was all right so um I'm look like I'm gonna roughly reach about um 14 here maybe 50 um just about looks like 14 all right so the decimal points really don't matter uh so you just want to remember the upload speed you have now if you have below three for the upload speed then you really don't want to stream i mean it's not it's not you're just it just won't work for you right, so hopefully you can see this i made this little chart on here about your upload speed and your bit rate so if you have anywhere from three to five um mbs for an upload speed uh you want to uh have from 2500 to 3500 bit rate if you have from six to eight upload speed you want to have 3500 to 4500 bit rate 
um, if you have 9 to 12, um, bit, uh, upload speed, excuse me, you want to have around 4,500 to 6,000 bitrate, and if you have 12 or more, around 6,000 plus, so say if you have, like, 20, then you might want to up that to, like, 7,000 or something, now, say if you still find it blurry on, like, 3, uh, through 5, you might want to lower a little bit, but this is what I, this is what I find best that works for me, so since I have 12 pet, Plus, I want to put it on 6,000. I have it on 3,000 because I was just testing things around. But I usually have it on around 6,000. So, go back to output and um, type that in. So, so since I have 12 plus, I'm going to go for 6,000. Oops, not 600, 6,000. And whatever you have, you're just going to want to look at my chart, figure out what you want, put that in there. Now, you can copy these other things right here. And also, make sure you hit apply when you're done with everything. Um... Do not hit OK because then that will close out, I believe. But you, you just want to copy everything else. And now once you're done copying that, you want to go to recording. And now this is the recording path. Basically, say like when you're done recording um, any video, this is where it's going to say. So if you want to create a new folder on your desktop or somewhere, then go create that. And then you want to hit browse and then choose the folder. Recording for format MP4. Um, bitrate, you want to have, uh, I believe that's 40,000, max bitrate, this, you just want to copy this, this doesn't really matter right here, but this is the stuff that matters, again, same thing with the encoder, um, but this is the things that you really want to change, you can keep MP4, but you just want to copy all of this here, you can pause the, the video to do so, and now we're going to go down to upload, or, I mean, not, um, audio here, sorry, <laughs> So here we have the audio bitrate. You can just copy this and make sure everything's on uh 160. We don't want to touch replay buffer because that's just uh, you know it's just we we don't really need that. So now once you're done copying all of this, make sure you have everything set up and well. You want to go to audio, and you can copy some things right here. The things you do not want to copy though is things like this the um mic um audio device. So say if you do not have a blue snowball, then obviously blue snowball won't pop up. And say if you have the blue Yeti and that's plugged in, then the blue Ye Yeti should pop up and then you're going to want to click on that. But since I have the blue snowball and that's the best microphone I have, uh, you want to click on that. And then now uh, it, will be t it will be detecting your blue snowball microphone, which will be good. And your speakers, either the speakers that I have, and this is what I like to put it on. So if you have different speakers, that's what you want to choose. Um, these things you don't have to touch. You can copy this if you want. And, uh, believe me, we don't need anything. Oh, yeah, a video. I, wa I wanted to talk about this, too. So, um, you want to basically have your output and your base on the max resolution that you can. Um, as you can see, I do. Now, if you have a lower, um, internet speeds, you might want to lower that. Also, if you have anywhere from, like, 3 to 5, um, uh, upload speed, you might want to lower your common FPS value down to 30. But since I'm good, I have it on 60. The hotkeys, you can you you can mess with this. It's basically like keybinds, you know, from Fortnite. But I I don't use this. And then advanced, we don't talk about this, okay? So basically, guys, that's all you want to know right now for this video. Um, so once you're done, again, hit apply, hit OK. All your settings should be saved. You can then stream. Well, you can stream right now, guys, with your nice, good, good settings. Um, but if you want me to do another tutorial explaining how to get a face cam up, uh, things like donation tickers, um, sub counts, screen popping up, um, bunch of stuff like that, make sure you guys tell me in the comment section down below. And if something doesn't work right or you need a question, just make sure you ask in the comment section down below or join my Discord. I will, uh, be free to answer any questions. Alright guys, that's basically it for this video. If you enjoyed it and it helped you, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!